hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we'll be implementing a software architectural pattern which is known as a publisher subscriber model so let's begin a publisher subscriber model is a messaging pattern wherein you have two sets of softwares the first one is known as uh, a publisher and the another one is known as a subscriber the function of the publisher is to publish messages into a queue and uh, the task of a subscriber is to pull messages from a queue and process accordingly. So I'll show you this pattern by means of a diagram. Here it is. So it shows the logical components of this pattern. On the left side you have a publisher that is publishing messages into a messaging queue and on the other hand you have either one subscriber or n number of subscribers which will pull the message from this messaging queue and process accordingly so it is a method of implementing decoupled systems or what we call as disconnected systems so let me explain you by means of an example. Let's say the publisher is a web API or a website that wants to communicate about a transaction to a particular user. So it is publishing a message into this input channel that is converted into a message broker that is in the layman's language if I would say it is encapsulated into a particular packet and added into a channel so let's say you have two subscribers one subscriber has uh, the task of delivering an email to the customer whereas another subscriber has the task of sending an sms message to him so they will pick up this message from the channel they'll get their own replica of the message so subscriber 1 will be firing an email to him whereas subscriber 2 will be sending an SMS message to him so what benefit we have achieved uh, by this pattern is that the publisher API or website is just pushing the message into the channel which would hardly consume a fraction of milliseconds and hence your end user would never feel that your web application is not quite responsive whereas on the other hand if you were performing both the functions at the publisher's end then uh, maybe your application would consume a couple of uh, a couple of seconds and uh, your uh, end user won't have a good experience so now uh, we'll start implementing this solution for the in, uh, for the channel that we will be using here in this uh, implementation would be the azure service bus so in case like you are not interested in uh, getting a subscription of azure service bus there are couple of other options available in the market like you have the Amazon Simple Queue service, you have the Firebase Cloud Messaging Queue, or you have another provider which is well known in the market that is the RabbitMQ. So let's begin implementing this solution. I have here an Azure subscription, and I have already created a service bus here. Here it is. I've created a service bus by the name of test service bus Nitin. And uh, in case, so Azure service bus is a platform as a service infrastructure in which you can have either one channel or multiple channels, which can be used in communicating messages. So um, in this sample service bus that I have created, 
I have added one channel which is a topic one so there are two different types of channels available in Azure Service Bus first one is known as a queue and another one is a topic the only difference between these channels is like in a queue you can have just one subscription per channel whereas in a topic you can have multiple subscriptions for it so in this uh, sample that i'll be implementing i'll be using a topic that i have already created so here i have one channel which is known as topic one and for this topic i have created two subscriptions on which one subs uh, one subscriber each will be working on it so here are some uh, properties of uh, this channel like it has a maximum size of 16 GB and there are currently zero messages there are two types of messages active message count and scheduled message count the difference is that active message is the count that is going to into the subscriptions for processing whereas scheduled message count are those messages which will be scheduled after a particular interval of time for let let's say i want my particular message uh, to be processed at 12 am so i'll be adding my message into the channel but i'll be scheduling them at 12 am to be processed by these subscriptions so let's move on to the code now here it is in my code base I have created one publisher and two subscribers so we'll take a walk through the code now I'm connecting to my service bus which is test service bus Nitin and I have here the authentication token I'm mentioning the channel to be used into this service bus that is topic one here I have a factory class that will give me an instance of the publisher object so I'll be passing uh, the URL and authentication properties to this method which is going to return me an object of Azure Publisher so Azure Publisher will be creating a namespace manager object using the service bus name and authentication tokens and here I have written uh, a sample code like if my application is not able to find the topic then I can go and create this topic into the Azure environment So this is a topic line that is itself creating. Now here in the loop like uh, I'll be taking an input from the user and I'll be pushing a message. So here is a message format object that is having a particular ID and several other properties. So in the publisher class like I'll be queuing the message that will be done by the Azure publisher class so I'm creating an instance of a brokered message a brokered message uh, is uh, a wrapper around the main object which will traverse through the input channel so in the topic client I am sending this broker message so now let's move to the code base of a subscriber same subscriber the connection code is the same I am connecting to the same service bus same topic through the same credentials an additional property that I am passing through a subscriber is 
the subscription through which I will be pulling the message. In this example, like I am using a subscription to, whereas in another subscriber, I will be using a subscription one. So I am getting an instance of a subscriber class and on um, I have created a method on message I am wherein I am passing the type of object that I will be receiving and uh, here I am passing a delegate so when I will be receiving a message like I will be writing on the console what message I have received in the JSON format let's go to the implementation of this message inside the assure subscriber like I'll be using a subscription client how are we creating a subscription client similar to the way we were creating a topic line we were creating a namespace manager through the Azure functions providing some settings what kind of communication uh, format it's going to use like here it's net messaging which internally uses TCP connections for pulling the messages so I'm creating uh, an instance of subscription client and in this subscription client like I'm assigning uh, another property which is the prefetch count prefetch count defines uh, the uh, the number of messages I want to pull from the subscription in one go let's say 100 messages will be pulled in a one go and possessed at the subscriber end. and on receiving the message I'll be uh, extracting uh, the message format from the broken message and then executing the anonymous function that I had passed to it. Now let's dry run our application. So I'll be building the application in the release mode. So I'll be starting an instance of uh, the service bus publisher first. Okay. So I have pushed a message. Let's push another message, then push another message, then push another message. Now I'll be uh, starting two instances of subscribers. So I've started an instance of subscriber one. See, now it has pulled the messages from the subscription. Now I'll be starting another instance of subscriber. It has also followed the same process. Now I'll show you the live example. I'll be pushing a message. And the other subscriber is receiving the same message as you can all see so this is a sample application using the azure topics and subscription so thank you all for being a part of the video and if you have any queries post it in the comment section and i'll be ready to assist you so see you all in the next video and have a nice day